Hi everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to share this project. Um, I got this idea from Liz the Paper Project. She has a YouTube channel that I just found and I love it so much. I can't wait to learn more from her. Um, this was a zine tutorial she had done just a few days ago and um, I have never used this method for like a mini album and it's just so easy and would have saved me so much time if I had done it this way. <laughs> so we all learn. But um, I did change my measurements um, because it's very easy to change your measurement on this once you know the method. And I also made mine out of vellum. Now today I'm going to use regular paper because I know many of you don't have vellum. So, um, but I wanted to show how mine looked with the vellum and I did purchase at Michael's and I did see polka dot vellum online on Amazon for really, really cheap. like. I paid $2 for one sheet at Michael's and on Amazon, I think it's 25 sheets for like $8.99. So go ahead and look on Amazon and you'll probably find it on there. So as we go along, I'm gonna show you everything I use. So if you wanna recreate it this way, you can, or just, you know, with your own things. So for the bow, I used uh, Maggie Holmes uh, Heritage. That's where the bow came from. And you know, just a little pearl dot. The doily that I used is um, the Echo Park, and anything I can find I will list. Um, it's an Echo Park, Park die, and it's small, as you can see. I thought it was perfect for this. So when you open it, I had just made this little envelope myself, and I'll show you guys how to make that. And then you have your little side pocket here. And then this was another thing that inspired me. It's kind of like junk journals, you know how they use doilies. So um, she had stable hers, but I kind of glued my down to make it a little bit more secure pocket. And I used a die for that. She had used a uh, regular doily. And I just added this um, little, oh, and by the way, my doily is Coco Reno because you know how much I love this die. And um, these little tags that you're gonna see, I use my Firefly. Okay, and these little tabs here, this was Bow Bunny. And I don't know if they make this anymore because I had got this that Tuesday morning and I, I believe it's discontinued. So when you move on, here's, you know, the Bow Bunny still, just some stickers. I used the Bow Bunny, the other Bow Bunny die. And then inside I have these tags. I put two tags um, that I just showed you from the Firefly line. So when you do this, uh, when you make the album, you're gonna have all these little inserts. You can make these pockets, you can leave it. Um, I had made side pockets with the open tab, so I'll show you all that. So let's get started. Now her measurement was by an eight and a half by 12 paper, just standard. Mine, um, You can use any, once you know this method, you can use any. So today I'm gonna to use seven and a half by 12 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying it at my um, seven and a half inch mark. Okay, and then we're just gonna score it at three and three quarters. So it's right in the center. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and flip it at the 12 inch score. And score it at three, six, and nine. So you're gonna have four, um, I mean, eight boxes. Oh no, I just messed up my score, hold on. Oh no, mine's so wonky here. Three, six, and nine. Okay, I hope that doesn't interfere with me, but I didn't realize my paper was off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in the middle. Perfectly, and she didn't even use the score. She literally just went in and out, in and out, but I think it's easier, especially if you're new to crafting, just to have the numbers. So she went like this and then directly folded it in half. So if you don't have a scoreboard, this is awesome to do without a scoreboard. Fold it in half again. I'm just gonna 
Okay, now I have to make sure I do the right score here. Just hold all your score lines. Okay, so you're gonna have eight boxes. Please ignore the lines that I made. Now what we're gonna do is simply fold it in half. So not this way, but this way. So it's like a box, okay? And you're gonna take your scissors and slice one box in between one box, just up to that next line. So you can see it. So don't go all the way up to here, just that, okay? Then we're gonna open it up and you should have this little like hole. Now this is the cool part. So you're gonna like take this and pinch the middle and just fold it. And then fold it out like, a, like an X. And then boom, this is your book. So ta-da, how easy and look the back you don't have to glue anything all the pages are already done i'm i'm not kidding i don't know how i've never done this before and i've been crafting for a while i guess because i don't binge on youtube enough so okay let me go through this okay so you're gonna have different um different folds. Make sure your creases are nice because otherwise you're going to have these weird things. So you're going to have like open ends and things like that depending how you fold it. Now at this point you can decide whether you want pockets um, or you know just you want to leave it. You can glue and do all this. I don't know why but this fold looks a little different than my other one. So... Let me see here. Okay, I had folded it a little weird. It doesn't really matter which way, but I wanna make sure it's exactly like the tutorial. So my front pocket is like this, and this is gonna be my other pocket. So like I said, whatever way, as long as it's not showing is fine, but this is exactly the way I did it. Okay, so this one, like this, I just left. Again, you can seal it and make a pocket up here. I'm just leaving it. Here, I'm gonna glue this down just on the um, side bottom right here because that's gonna be one of my pockets, my side pockets. So you have your cover and then this. And again, depending which way you fold it, it might be a little different, but just made my little hole thing so then the next page is fine it's one of these little loops and then we have this again so I'm gonna go ahead and seal that again just on the bottom and it's gonna be another pocket and I'm just gonna punch it and the punch I'm using is gonna be my one and a quarter And you have your album. So from here, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and recreate mine. So I'm using my little doily, which I cut and I showed you everything that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. Put that right here. There's glue coming out. And I pre-cut all these so you guys don't have to watch me redo that. Okay, and then for the bow, I added, you know, a little pearl sticker, which, where did I put them? I can't seem to find it, but for this, I used a little foam tape. I wanted the bow to pop out just a little bit. So just use some like thicker foam tape and pop it on. Or you can use chipboard 
just anything that makes it like not so flat because this can still be flat mail. So I would love to have my little pearls. And I literally just lost it. Oh, they were under the paper pad. So I'm using these. I got these from Tuesday morning. They're just bling dots. There's so many of them and they came in a big pack for like $3. Okay, so there's that. And then you open it. And then um, this little pocket here is going to be two and a half by six inches. And I did not score this, I just eyeballed it. So here's my two and a half by six paper. And I'm really just eyeballing it. And this top part I corner chopped. And I finally got my eyelet thing, another one. I hated to buy another one because I pretty much had it. It was just halfway broken. So that's why I was able to put a little eyelet in it. So I'm gonna just use my little tool, my little eyelet tool. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. I meant to use the big one. And I need a pilot. So I'm just using these ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. I hope this one doesn't break on me because these are like $30 and I don't want to buy it again. Okay, so there's that. And I just glued it on. Right here. Oh, I didn't even show you. So yeah, when you do this, it's just a glue dot right now because I didn't put the Velcro on, but you just open it. I missed that part when I showed the album. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing again because I want to, I don't want to mess with the Velcro right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick a little glue dot on there. And the collection I'm using today is Flourish. And this is the Cartabella I was using from the other, um, the other day, the Flora. Okay, so this is Bloom. I'm sorry, this is Bloom, not Flourish. I just my sticker sheet is really bad. Okay, and then right in this pocket, I just, but do you see how pretty it looks with the vellum? It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna add some glitter cardstock on the side. Okay, so you see that? And then on this page, I just added um, a sticker and a little tag. So I made another little tag. So I just want a sticker. It's the perfect little rose to go on there. Plain. Okay, and then the side, I just did a doily pocket, which I just kind of cut it. I just eyeballed with my scoreboard. So here's my doily. I'm just cutting it anywhere, really, to make the pocket. And then I'm just going to trim down the sides. I'm just gonna trim these off right here. So I think Coco and Reno plans on getting this back, but they just don't have it right now. So that's gonna be in my pocket right there. Okay, 
and then just gluing it right there. And again, you can just staple it like she did. It will probably just hold fine. You can do that. I'm gonna add a sticker right here. So here is this page. And then I added that little tab right here. And this was double-sided, so it's not gonna look as pretty um, because this side's gonna be white. So maybe I'll actually, no, because the book's gonna face up. So when you close it, you want it to show that colored tab. Oops, and I did the wrong side. <laughs> you know, I can't film without a blooper. <laughs> Okay, so there's that tab, and you can just modify any way you want. It doesn't have to look like mine. I'm trying to find something to stick in it. I'll cut some, okay, I'll just put a little ticket in there. So the last page is just, really, it was just this, and just adding some um, little things on there. I'm gonna run out of paper clips. I do so many albums. <laughs> okay, and then I put two little tags inside right here in that last packet. I loved it. What I loved about the vellum is that you can see them. So if I take this off, you can actually see it through there. So I put two on the side right there. And then this part I just decorated. So let me see if I have some stickers. I'm really running low on this one. I do like this hello sticker though, to make it look like it's kind of hanging. Did I cover everything? I think I did. Okay. Oh, and that's coming off, so I'll probably change it. Okay, so let's go through. So the front, you open it, you have a your little pocket and your little side pocket right there. And then your doily pocket with your tab, just a pretty decorative page and then another pocket in your tags. Yay, we're done. I hope you guys like this. I'm so thankful for her tutorial because I'm so addicted to this. I'm probably going to do like a hundred more. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.